Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out Milk Makeup. I've got a couple of products that I purchased myself uh, and then they re reached out recently and sent me some of their latest launches along with a few products that I hadn't tested yet and I've got close to a full face. So I'm going to be testing out their skin tint today, the new mascara, which comes in amazing packaging. Uh, I know I already love their Hydro Grip Primer, new liquid bronzer and highlights, lots of things to test. Uh, so if you enjoy this type of video, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So I've mentioned this primer many times. I think I picked it up during a Sephora VIB sale a little while back, but it is the Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this. Uh, this is the primer that I've been using pretty much like this has been my, like this one and the Laneige, I would say I use these two primers the most. They just, it just works really well under kind of any foundation, whether I'm wearing something that's a little more glowy, but I especially love it under something that's more um, on the matte or natural matte side, because it just adds a nice amount of hydration. And it is a grip primer, but it's not um, like super silicone-y and thick. It just has a great texture, doesn't make me greasy, it just works really really well under makeup. I especially love it like if I've already applied my moisturizer maybe an hour or two before I'm doing my makeup. Um, it just sort of is a nice way to refresh on the skin and, and it goes on like a gel texture and you'll see it gets a little bit grippier as it sort of dries into the skin a bit. Then they sent me their Sunshine Skin Tint. Let me know if you'd like a full review on this. They sent it in two different shades. Uh, what's interesting about this, it comes, a lot of this actually has cool packaging. So I haven't tried this out yet, but basically it just pumps up and then there's a little roller ball there. So this is, let me swatch both of the shades for you actually. Oh, hello. So the packaging is cool, but like, I don't know how I totally feel about it. Uh, medium Tan is the shade right here. And then this other shade is Golden Honey, which I believe is what I'm gonna wear. I don't know how I feel about this packaging. <laughs> like it's cool in looks, but in practice, I know some people won't like the idea of, I'm scared of it now, of it rolling it onto their face. Let's see, it's supposed to be like a lighter coverage product. I'm gonna go in with a sponge. How much product do you get in here, by the way? 16 milliliters or half a fluid ounce. So really there's not a lot in here which normally with tints you get a little bit more product sometimes, um, but that's about half the size of an average foundation. So something to keep in mind if you're um, keeping the fluid ounce to money spent in mind. You know what I think that it would be really nice for too is like a really light contour. It does blend out really nicely. This color is really nice as well for me. Um, <clears throat> it's a, like feels nice and lightweight as they said. Nice light coverage, easily blendable. I'm gonna take, like I said, a little bit of the deeper shade now. This is obviously not completely necessary, but I've got it here. And it's like not deep enough that it's really gonna be contour, but I also wanna build the coverage just a little bit. And it is supposed to be like, it's a tint. It's not even saying like that it has a lot of coverage, but I just wanna get a little bit more. I picked up this pimple today. I haven't had a pimple on my forehead in I don't know how long, so. That's fun. Next I'm gonna go in with their um, Sunshine Under Eye Tint and Brighten. This is in the shade number four. So I was kind of guessing a lot of my shades. So I don't know if you can see, but basically there's like a little tube that you pump it up, like it pumps up through there and then goes into the roller ball. This does feel nice on the under eye. I know a lot, of, a lot of under eye products come like this, but normally it's like metal for kind of cooling the under eyes. I probably put too much. That's the thing, I think with these products, it's a little bit harder to um, understand how much you need just because it's so different than everything else I've used. So, there may be a little bit of a learning curve. But I like the color for me. It's definitely a good kind of peachy brightening shade. And then I'm gonna go in with their actual concealer, also in Golden Honey. This is the Flex Concealer. I knew it looked familiar. It looks almost exactly like the Quo Concealer. And this, what kind of applicator? Okay, this just has a doe foot, nothing, nothing wild. It seems like a good shade. This is the same shade that I have on my face for the skin tint, so it's like slightly brighter. Let me know what you think of Milk Makeup, if you've purchased it, what you like from them. 
Uh, like I said, they're the primer for me so far has been my favorite. I remember purchasing also years ago, probably around the holidays, some of their mini sets of the like little um, stick products that were serum and maybe a toner, some interesting stuff for travel, which I like. I liked as well. I'm gonna go ahead then and use the um, Grip Set Refresh Spray. I think I also got this during a Sephora sale. Um, this definitely has not a great scent to it. What I like it for though is sort of refreshing my makeup or also making things like creams and stuff a little bit easier to work with. I forget exactly what foundation it was that I was using, but either way, it just needed like a little something to help blend into my skin, and I thought that that did a really great job. So I'm going to use it just prior to using these cream products that I have from them, and I'm a little bit intimidated. Um, I've got the Bionic Bronzers here, and these are liquid bronzers that seem to have like some shimmer in them. Let's see. Oh, shape before use. But what's cool about this is they definitely have a, oh, a lot of depth. In color so I'm gonna definitely be using the lighter shade so look at this this is awesome if you have deep skin um, this is invincible and this is shape shift so that's awesome 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 if you have a deeper skin tone and the thing is too is these are like seem to have quite low sort of not low pigment like you can see there's a bunch of color in there but I think it'll be easy ish to work with and sort of um, What's the word I'm looking for? Buildable. A brush. Maybe this one. It's like, uh, this is from Crown Brush. It's like a duo fiber stipple. And I just want to put a little bit on my face. I think I'm going to like this. I freaking love, well, I love bronzing my forehead, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest as if it's like it's a controversial take. Um, but I love liquid bronzers, and this is definitely seeming like it's going to be a good one. I can just tell you right now. I don't have anything else in this texture. So this is very, very unique, and it doesn't have shimmer in it. For some reason, I thought it did. Definitely super lightweight, buildable, easy to work with. Then I have one of their um, lip and cheek sort of sticks. This one is in the shade Swerve, which is really like a pretty kind of burnt orange shade. This, these were some of the first types of products that they came out with, I feel like. Oh, it's nice. It's almost like a gel, sort of, in the sense that it's not, it's not incredibly pigmented. So that seems to be the case with a lot of their products. It's like this nice, light take. They're a little bit intimidating, I will say, in terms of like the when you look at the products initially, but they are very easy to work with. Like when I first squeezed that bronzer out on my hand, I was like, oh, we might have a problem here, but I think I like this a lot. And I definitely like with a cream blush being able to swipe it on in like a stick format. And I'm just building. Building, building, building. Some cream blushes, like I would never be able to put on this much because they're so full of pigment, but it also doesn't feel greasy. I would say though, this skin tint, if you have oily skin, it's not feeling like it's gonna be super oily skin friendly. Then I also have the Bionic Glow, which is a liquid highlighter. It's interesting because the Bionic Bronzer is 17 milliliters. This is 26 milliliters. And I feel like, I don't know, in my opinion, the bronzer should have more product in it. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is a nice sort of pink tint. There's two of them, I think. This one is in the shade Virtual. And you know me, normally I'm going for like a, a warm golden, but this is kind of a warm, like, pearlescent pink. So that's pretty. And it doesn't have, yeah, it just has like iridescence. It has a really beautiful look, actually. I love, I love liquid highlighters right now. I feel like they're so beautiful because they're not full of like shimmer and glitter or anything. They just meld into the skin, which is nice for like real human skin and not just like in the Instagram face. So I don't know if Milk has powders, but I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. Uh, and then I'm going to use this Sephora uh, Micro Smooth Baked Powder. I really love this one. Honestly, I'm a little bit curious to use these products over powder and just see what happens because they feel so lightweight instead of drawing it on I'm kind of tapping but you see that nice highlight still coming through 
sometimes people ask like why I do cream and then powder over. First of all, it's just like kind of my routine, that's what I like. Um, but I find a lot of the time using creams underneath just helps things pop, it helps things last longer. Um, it's just kind of my preference. Mm, yeah, that works nicely. It also depends on the look you're going for. Like if I was not filming a YouTube video, I might not use creams and powders. I might just do the cream, put the powder over and it pops really nicely in person versus on camera, I like to add a little bit more. So, you know, it's whatever floats your boat. So <clears throat> what I didn't know was they have a Hydro Grip Eye Primer, which is really exciting. Um, Cause I freaking love the, oh, oh. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It's on a doe foot. Right, they, I don't have any eyeshadows from them, but I will just do a little bit just to see what it feels like. For some reason, like the idea of like a hydrating eye primer makes me feel like I guess it makes sense, but it sounds like less intense or like it wouldn't work as well. <clears throat> just gonna take uh, my Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Ooh, I forgot how pigmented these shades are. So here's the interesting thing with this eyeshadow primer. I feel like if you have dry eyelids, you might really like it. As somebody who has oilier eyelids, it feels like it's almost adding a little bit too much hydration while it feels really kind of good and nice and soft. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm going to have to keep testing it out. Um, but it's it's interesting texture. Again, that's unlike any other eyeshadow primer texture I've tried. Good or bad? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, but I have their Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Dutch. I think I've looked at purchasing this before, and the reason that I didn't, uh, where's my eyesh, eyebrow brush? Uh, I think the reason that I didn't purchase it was because it doesn't come in a clear, but I don't know if that's true or not. Honestly, I thought I owned it. Maybe I'm getting it confused with the Kosas one. But either way, they sent me it in the shade Dutch. I'm not a huge... Um, I don't often use colored eyebrow gels, but let's do it today. I like the brush because it's fibered. For me, I'm always looking for hold over anything else. And I just don't know, but I like this color actually because it's a little bit cooler toned. I find like sometimes when I use eyebrow gels, they are um, just too warm toned like the brown ones. So this is actually a really good color. I'm gonna spray my face again with the Hydro Grip Setting Mist. What I'm super excited about and what packaging is so nice is their new mascara. It's the new Rise Mascara. And it's just like regular packaging, but then it's got this rubberized kind of thing on the outside, which is just so pleasing. Uh, and I've seen great things about this. Just feels really good in the hand but that's what the brush looks like okay so I think it looks really good it's very like flared out and I would say <clears throat> I'd say it looks really really good it looks very fluffy and light um, I will say I got a lot of mess on my lashes and then the tube has started to get really messy right away um, but maybe that's maybe that's a human error thing but it builds quite quickly I just show it to you in real time and I like it it's not like as voluminous as some of their mascaras but it just looks really light on the lashes and really long it really does um, live up to the rise claims I think really long lashes well wow. So here is the finished look. I think so far the things that have really impressed me, uh, I already know I love the primer. I think I'm really going to be into the bronzer and the highlighter. Uh, and then as well, the um, mascara has really, really blown me away. The skin tint, I'm not 100% sure on. I feel like under my eyes it looks a little bit creasy, but perhaps I put on too much of the brightener and the concealer. Uh, and I think with the eyeshadow primer, that's going to work really well if you have very dry eyelids, which I do not. It is a very hydrated part of 
of my face, unlike the rest of it. So uh, I will have to continue testing, but um, be sure to check back. I'll be talking about it in future uh, favorites videos, monthly makeup baskets coming back, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. But let me know down below what you love from Milk Makeup. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!